Computer Aid International is a not-for-profit organization active in the field of information and communication technologies for development. A registered charity, Computer Aid was founded in 1996 to bridge the digital divide by providing refurbished PCs from the UK to educational and non-profit organisations in developing countries. Computer Aid has provided over 260,000 refurbished computers to educational institutions and not for profit organizations in more than 110 different countries to date. Computer Aid shipped its 100,000th computer in February 2008, sending PCs to more than 100 countries. Topic organization Computer Aid International is a non-governmental organization registered with the Charity Commission of England and Wales registration number, and is a not-for-profit social business with the registration number 3,442,679 come July 2009 Computer Aid has offices in London, South Africa and Kenya. At the Africa HQ in Nairobi Computer Aid has dedicated project managers who work with educational institutions and local non-profit organizations throughout Africa supporting the application of ICT for development. Computer Aid has a board of trustees that meet bi-monthly to provide strategic direction and fiduciary oversight. Professor Dennis Goldberg is Computer Aid's honorary patron. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Strategy Computer Aid offers a decommissioning service to UK companies, government departments and universities that are upgrading their computer systems, donated PCs are data wiped, refurbished and tested. Non-profit organisations in the developing world can apply for refurbished computers for educational projects. They also run their own projects, such as a classes where a computer lab is set up from scratch and teachers are trained in ICT. They also created the Zubabox, a solar-powered portable ICT lab which can be deployed in areas without internet or electricity. They have also created the Connect device, a Raspberry Pi based device which can create a local network, allowing a classroom to access 64 gigabits of educational material without the need for Internet. <laughs> UK IT donors Computer Aid has partnered with Tier 1 to offer a secure service to UK companies and organisations replacing their hardware. The charity provides end-of-life IT asset management services, which include data removal, computer refurbishment, reuse, and recycling. Donating IT equipment to Computer Aid is in compliance with UK legislation, including the WEEE Directive, Data Protection Act and Environment Act. Computer Aid donors include DFID, Sainsbury's, Coca-Cola, Diageo, Orange, Virgin, Betfair, PepsiCo, Investec, WWF, Christian Aid, BBC Worldwide and Ofcom. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Projects Computer Aid supports a telemedicine project in partnership with African Medical and Research Foundation This project has equipped over 40 rural hospitals in Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda with digital cameras, computers, printers and scanners and provides training and technical support. 
The project enables doctors and nurses in remote rural areas to access specialist clinical support diagnosis improving healthcare in rural communities. Computer Aid, in partnership with SightSavers International, has provided PCs installed with adaptive technologies for the blind and partially sighted in more than 20 different countries. In Cameroon, Computer Aid is working with several not for profit organizations to provide PCs in secondary schools and community based organizations. These include organizations like the British Council and Education Information Services International In Rwanda, Computer Aid has worked with the Kigali Institute of Education, the Ministry of Health and the Rwanda Information Technology Authority in providing PCs to schools, health centers and tele-centers countrywide. In Burundi, Computer Aid is working with La Foundation Buntu to provide PCs to widows and orphans who were victims of the war. Computer Aid PCs are currently being used in various secondary schools in Burundi, both in Bujumbura and in the provinces. In Zambia, Computer Aid has sent PCs to secondary schools through national distribution programs supported by the national government and local NGOs. They are running a series of a classes in primary and secondary schools between 2017-2018. In Zimbabwe, Computer Aid has sent PCs to universities, tertiary institutions and the National Consortium of Libraries. Computer Aid is also working to establish relationships with non-governmental organizations NGOs working to promote development in Zimbabwe. They also helped create the University of Zimbabwe's first female-only ICT lab to help bring equal access to both genders after it was found social issues were preventing the current labs from being used equally. In Malawi, Computer Aid enjoys a strong partnership with the Council for Non-Governmental Organizations in Malawi and has partnered with CONGOMA to send over 5,000 PCs to various NGOs, schools and universities in Malawi. Computer Aid has also sent PCs to Swaziland, South Africa, Namibia, Lesotho, and Botswana. In Eritrea Computer Aid is working with the British Council to provide PCs in public and school libraries. Ethiopia as a landlocked country has also not been left behind. Computer Aid works with not-for-profit organizations, such as Information Technology Development Association ITDA, Ethiopia Knowledge and Technology Transfer Society EKTTS, Christian Relief Development Association CRDA. Over 6,000 PCs have been provided to Ethiopian schools, tertiary institutions and other not-for-profit organizations. In Liberia, Computer Aid is working with Stella Maris Polytechnic to provide computers to institutions of higher learning and NGOs. Computer Aid not only provide computers to organizations in Africa but also in Asia, Eastern Europe, the Middle East and Latin America. To give a few examples, in Colombia Computer Aid works with the International Organization of Migration to help internally displaced children receive an education. In Ecuador several hundred computers were donated to fair trade banana producers to improve the day-to-day -day running of the fair trade banana enterprise and its trade unions. In Venezuela Computer Aid provided PCs to an indigenous wind-powered school in the middle of the Amazonian jungle. 
Power supply problems in rural areas of developing countries make it sensible to use the most power-efficient options. Computer Aid has asked ZDNET to survey the available choices for low-power computing. The initial survey has been completed and field testing will now be carried out in three countries in Africa. Computer Aid International has also developed a portable wind-powered cyber cafe to offer a cost-effective and environmentally sustainable solution to getting rural communities online. The wind-powered cyber cafe can be shipped as a complete sea container and contains a fully functional cyber cafe, comprising a thin client network of eight monitors running off a standard P4 acting as a server. Wind panels are fitted to power the container and a thin client network was adopted because wind panels are prohibitively expensive if using standard desktops. The idea was developed in conjunction with computer aid partners in Zambia who have already used the containers to reduce the cost of internet and power access by sharing connectivity and harnessing the sun's rays. Topic. See also Computer technology for developing areas Geekcore Geeks without bounds Information and communication technologies for development ICT4D Netcore Random hacks of kindness United Nations Information Technology Service, UNITES.